Hello everyone, Human Hard Drive here for Acrobotic Industries. Today we're going to be taking a look at their RGB LED strips. And I've got one here. Um, if you've been around the internet, you've probably seen these before. It's a really cool piece of DIY technology. Uh, what it is, it's a bunch of SMD RGB LEDs. So each of these is a full RGB LED giving you control of three channels, R, G, and B, letting you create very wide color palette. But the interesting thing is, and I hope it comes through on the camera here, that each of these is actually its own little segment, and I made a cut so you can see it here. Included in this little LED is an integrated circuit, the WS2811 chip. And what that is, is it's an addressable IC. So what you can do, and what Acrobotic has done, is they've daisy-chained all of these LEDs together. So you can address each one of these LEDs individually to create a uniform color strip, a multicolored color strip, uh, do all sorts of cool animations, that sort of thing. So uh, I've got a little demo here with an Arduino. And here's the strip here. So right now it's set to red. I'm going to try and turn down the brightness so it comes through on the camera a little better. So you can do your classic red your green, Let's see if I can, kind of hard to see, your green and your blue, just controlling any of the three channels individually. And these uh, LEDs, if you can see them, are actually, I can make them quite bright. I was writing the code for this and staring into it started to hurt my eyes after a little while. So uh, using the code, which I will link to in the description, you can control how bright the LEDs are and you can take them down to be fairly tame and you can make them quite well bright so you can make it all uni one uniform color Ooh. or you can uh, there we go so I've got a bunch of random colors cycling through here you can co uh, control each one of these individually turn down the brightness a bit and the code I'm using right here is based on uh, Adafruit's NeoPixel library. And it takes care of a lot of the overhead of dealing with the uh, integrated circuit here. So you can write a color to any specific LED without having to deal with all the bit shifting. And it takes care of all the rest for you. You control the brightness through the code. You make it very bright. I can make it dim. So really cool. You can do a lot of cool things with these. I've seen people uh, integrate them into e-textiles. I've seen people wear them like a tie. I've seen a couple people do it as a belt. I've seen people daisy chain enough of these together to uh, create like a, a uh, screen, like a 60 by 60 screen. It's pretty cool. So, uh, comes in two different colors. You can get a um, white paneling or you can get a dark blue paneling and it comes in two different densities. This is a 60 LED per meter density and I've got a 30 meter per LED density. Um, one kit for about 20 bucks gives you one meter so uh, you can figure out how many LEDs you'd get from that. And you can cut it to any length you want. You can just cut and it still works or if one meter isn't long enough for you you can actually just um, get another and solder it onto the end and you can control it forward so you can do a lot and every strip comes with this vinyl weather proof stripping so uh, it's you can leave it outdoors uh, I'm not sure if it's entirely waterproof but yeah it's definitely safe against rain and the weather because it's a weatherproof strip so that's the RGB LED again for about 20 bucks, you really do get a lot. You get a one meter strip, completely configurable, whole lot of fun. 